So the end of the season is fast approaching. Can we guarantee automatic promotion? Can we get the championship title? Let's go find out. We have only played two games since the last episode, the first of which was a 3-1 home win against our former club of Leeds United. Jim Garcia, Matthias Lachaud and Marcel Longo with the goals in this one. And finally was a 3-0 away win against Ipswich Town Lachaud, Samuelson and Booth with the goals. And that sees the championship table with four games to go looking like this. We sit 94 points after 42 games, 11 points clear from Millwall and Derby in third so one more win that's all it takes one more win and we are guaranteed promotion and one more win we are guaranteed the championship title which is why we've come back today we currently face Coventry City at home and if we win this game and guarantee ourselves automatic and uh, the championship title will fast forward through these three and get to the end of season stuff so a fantastic season in charge of Crystal Palace is fastly coming to an end Although we're not guaranteed automatic or the title right now, I think we pretty much are guaranteed uh, to get promoted to the Premier League at this point. All it takes is for one of them to slip up and we are promoted, even if we get beat every single game from here till the end of the season. So we'll play through this. Coventry City at home. They come at us with a 4-4-2. Mika Marmol. Ah, oh, can you remember Mika Marmol? He's playing at left back. He's 29 years old now. How's his career gone? We signed him at Birmingham City. Sold him to Levante, then he came to Coventry. He's been in the Championship ever since. Uh, I really liked Mika Marmol. <laughs> he was nice and cheap from Barcelona B and very versatile as well. Ne never mind that. Let's get to the game. We're at home. We are playing pretty much a full strength side. Baker in goal, Matheson, Garcia, Fernandez, and De Julio in the defence. David Pierre and Nespo in the centre of midfield. Remberg, Salkin, Lachaud behind Samuelson, who of course is leading the line. Let's get to the game and hope for a pretty emphatic win. To guarantee ourselves the title well first 25 minutes have gone by with not a whole lot happening here we are our first highlight of the game comes from a coventry city goal kick remberg wins it gets dispossessed by mika marmol i can't believe it the trailer nespo picks up the ball in the center of the park he drives forward and gives the ball away incredibly sloppily and now coventry city are likely to be on the attack unless they give the ball away like they've just done lachaud Plays it through for Samuelson. That is a great save by the Coventry City goalkeeper to keep things at 0-0. And there's the first half done. Crystal Palace nil, Coventry nil. Millwall are currently getting beat by Barnsley. That is fantastic. Derby are currently drawn against Leeds. Our, bo our former sides are facing our automatic promotion rivals. Hopefully they can do us a favour as I just chuck my mouse about that. We are ourselves our first highlight of the second half. We go all the way back to Baker in goal. Uh, 47 minutes in. And we give the ball. Oh, don't do this. Just just don't do this. Thank thank you. Well, good save, Terry Baker. Coventry again coming down the right-hand side. Budsworth to short to, to Johnny. And back to short. It's cleared. And Salkin can now drive through the centre of the park. Finds Jacob Samuelson who does one. Can he get past the other one? He can't. He just goes for goal instead. And he hits the post and he can't follow it up. Corner for us. Samuelson plays it into the back post. Garcia is there. It's over the line. Is he off? He's not offside. Oscar Remberg's sixth goal of the season puts us 1-0 up 59 minutes in. Now, that was a goal mouth scramble, if ever I have saw one. Samuelson playing it in. Great save by the keeper initially. And then Remberg just slides in, makes sure it goes over the line. Coventry now in possession, 63 minutes in, in the defence. They try to clear it. Johnny wins the header. And they're playing it about quite nicely in the midfield. We're closing them down pretty well. And we're keeping our shape. So I think we're going to win the ball back. And there's Matheson winning the header down to Salkin. And then losing the ball to Abe. Of course he does. And Johnny's in behind. That is a terrible, terrible strike. 15 minutes to go. Can we hang on and guarantee ourselves the championship title? Salkin plays it to Renberg in the box. Who switches the plate to De Julio on this left-hand side. Le Shouds in the box to Salkin. It's a shot is blocked and uh, it's going to be a corner kick. Jacob Samuelson is the man to play it into the back post. It's cleared by Coventry. And with only 10 minutes to go, we will make our changes. Luke Matheson can come off for Pat Saki Denley. Jim Garcia can come off for Nacho Gonzalez. And uh, De Julio can come off for Oliver Kirkwood at left back. Time is just ticking away, Coventry. If you don't want us to win the league, you're going to have to do something about it pretty quickly. And they aren't. Crystal Palace are the championship winners. We are back in the Premier League and we have a huge summer transfer window ahead of us. What is Matheson doing right there behind? <laughs> why why is he just standing on the centre circle? <laughs> why? Listen, 
he may he might just need a moment you know he might be have a bit of social anxiety not want to stand around the lads while they're celebrating uh let's let's move on we'll play the final few games off uh, camera i'll show you the results and then we'll just recoup and re uh re-watch not re-watch uh what word are you looking for sam recap our end of season stuff but before we do that the board have set the initial budgets what's your guess i'm hoping for 50 i'm probably going to get about 35 let's see what they're saying in terms of the budgets they are saying 47 i will take that i'm very very happy with that 47 million pounds 700k in the wages that'll give us about 270k wipe some of that out for yearly wage rises and promotion stuff maybe around 180 let's say um, that gives us a great great momentum going forward 47 million if we can negotiate with the board get this transfer revenue made available from player sales up we will have a real chance of making a great squad at crystal palace so we'll quickly just review the final three games of the season the first of which was an away win against sheffield wednesday gilbert larue with the brace and jacob samuelson with one in a 3-1 away win next up was a 3-0 away win against sunderland oscar emberg jacob samuelson and matthias lechaud with the goals in this one and then finally was a 2-2 home draw against west brom where calvin salkin got himself sent off and oscar remberg got a brace and this is the final championship table uh <laughs> before the playoffs we are promoted alongside millwall who also got the other automatic promotion spot derby really did fall off in the second half of the season ended up finishing in fourth barnsley in third so they could be joining us in the premier league burnley and west brom complete the playoff teams leeds had a very poor season finishing in 12th there is still two games left to go in the Premier League and Huddersfield is sitting in fourth. Champions League football without us in charge. That would be fantastic. Birmingham City sitting in eighth. Nottingham Forest sitting in tenth. Eddie Le Chavrier getting a top goal scorer at the moment. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I wonder how Gorka Calvo is actually getting on. Yeah, he's looking just as good. I think they've been playing him on the right-hand side rather than up front. And he's got 12 goals and three assists in 35 Premier League games. Currently wanted by the big clubs so we've played on just a bit to get our end of season awards and things like that let's have a look jacob samuelson clearly the fans player of the season was 73 percent of the vote and that's completely understandable he got 28 goals and 10 assists in 44 skybet championship games which is nothing to sneeze at for a player who we only paid 1.9 million pounds for natural gonzalez came second with 10 percent luke matheson in third with nine percent luis lorenco actually the defensive midfielder who we sold in the january transfer window got goal of the season we'll take a look at that jacob simonson naturally got signing of the season and young player of the season so here is the goal coming up i can't remember this one and we definitely didn't do it as a live con we'll see here matheson playing the ball in it's cleared lorenco takes it down second touch what a strike that was and there was plenty of good goals that we have seen that could quite easily have been goal of the season so here's our season review crystal palace had been expected to be in the run for a playoff place but performed even better than expected by finishing top of the pile as champions it was a season of unlikely yet jubilant success for the eagles who consistently defied the odds from the outset and were eventually crowned champions that is a lovely little air uh, lovely little thing there by goal i like that in terms of the domestic cups then we did lose in the quarter final against huddersfield as we did in the last episode we lost in the first round of the league cup against west brom our match of the season was the 3-0 home win against ipswich i'm not sure about that that was quite early on and the moment i forget was the 3-2 defeat against qpr so i'll deal with the rest of this in my own time in terms of the squad then we've already sort of spoken about exactly what i'm going to try to do in terms of actually building our premier league squad a lot of these players that are on the screen right now will not be at the club at the start of next season that includes some of our best players the likes of jacob samuelson uh is he a good enough striker for me in the premier league maybe at least to start with um but maybe not and if we can find someone who is head and shoulders above him and we need funds to make it happen or we need funds to improve other positions when we've already brought this striker in jacob samuelson will be sold i am going to be more ruthless than i've ever been before with players there may be only one player out of all of these who will start and i will start 11 in the premier league and that is probably going to be where is he jim garcia the 1.9 million pound signing in january at center back he's a wonder kid he's got potential to grow he's still only 19 years old and at least in my opinion he's good enough to be a center half 
in the Premier League. Now, I do need to partner him with a better centre-half. Yeah, you know, I'm not expecting this boy to be the main guy. But um, at the very least, I think he is good enough. It might end up being the case where some of these players make our starting eleven purely because I can't find the right candidate to bring in. But the aim is sign a full first eleven, sell players who are, who need replacing by the better players, even if it means downgrading the quality of our, our strength and depth to raise funds for further signings. The only thing we need to be careful of is the foreign player limit. Of course, you can only sign seven, you can only have seventeen foreign players in your squad. Uh, so that means the rest of our squad will have to be made up of homegrown players. But we do have plenty of English boys currently who will probably not leave the club. And we will keep them in and around the squad even just as backups. So as mentioned earlier, with the combined and £47 million transfer budget and the player sales that we will be able to do um, because of the players that are coming in. Which uh, I think we're going to end up spending over £100 million. I, I honestly do. And it'll be the first time we've cracked that in a summer transfer window. But anyway, boys, there's not really a lot to talk about aside from that. Barnsley and Burnley have made it into the playoff final. When is the playoff final? It's in six days. We're going to play it. I'm going to play it through and I'll tell you if Barnsley's come up with us. Why is it always Burnley? Barnsley will not be joining us in the Premier League. They got beat by Burnley 2-1. A 93rd minute winner by Q... Lucky. <laughs> Lucky squad. And uh, Barnsley remain in the championship alongside Leeds for next season. But anyway, boys, that is enough for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.